Welcome to Circulation One Training here on Selco TV. This is Rachel Gray, Information Services Librarian, and today I'm going to be teaching you about customizing Horizon and making it a little bit more personalized um, so that when you use it, you're making the best use out of it. To get started, you'll want to log into Horizon using your username and password that was provided by Selco. And you can see that right now I am at Southeastern Libraries Cooperating here at Selco. And my name is also listed at the bottom, so I know what account I'm logged into Horizon with. Uh, to make any of these customizations, I need to go to Tools and then down to Customize Launcher. You can see there are six different tabs across the top here that I'm going to be going into, I think, four of them today with you to show you how you can make Horizon a little bit more personalized. To get started, we're going to start right away with this first tab called Toolbars. And this is called the main toolbar in Horizon. This is the one across the top here. And the first thing I recommend doing is clicking on this button at the bottom for the large buttons. And as you can see, that makes all of these buttons on the menu a little bit larger, so they're easier to see, easier to click. And um, you can also see that if I hover over them, I get a little description about what that is and what that icon does. And that's because I've got this show tooltips uh, option checked. If I uncheck it, you'll see that option goes away. So I recommend keeping show tooltips open as well or checked as well. And I also like smooth buttons, but if you like your buttons a little bit more delineated, um, uncheck that smooth buttons and you can see that that gives you each button as a, its own. I'm now going to move over to the navigation bar tab, and this allows me to add more buttons to this toolbar. I can do that by clicking on the plus signs next to any of these menus, and since we're teaching circulation, today I'm going to go into the circulation tab, or the, I'm going to click that little plus, and that turns into a minus and opens up for me. And I want to add the open check-in window and the open check-out window icon to my toolbar. So to do that, I just click on the Open CKI window and then hit on Toolbar, and you can see that that Return Books icon pops up to the top of my screen. And then do the same with the Checkout window, the CKO window. Now when I'm in Horizon, I can just click on those buttons at the top and they will open up those windows for me. Another way I can open up those windows is by having menu shortcuts. So if I want to be able to hit just the F9 key and the I on my keyboard, I can open up my check-in window. So if I hit F9 and then the I button, you can see my check-in window opens up for me with just a couple of clicks on my keyboard. If I would if you want to add other menu shortcuts, feel free to do so. Um, so even if they're not on this menu bar, this navigation bar, um, you can add things. So if you're using a lot of circulation reports and you want to open up that window quickly, I would just do an R for that. Um, and that would allow me to do the pull list or run my notices just by hitting F9 and then that, that key. So that is an option that you can have as well without even adding that to the toolbar. Another way you can open up Windows and have it open automatically is by going to the last tab here, which is Startup. I can again click on that little plus sign, and if I wanted to have the check-in and the check-out windows open whenever I open Horizon, as you can see, I just clicked on the, highlighted the option here and hit, hit Add, and it puts it in this list on the right. And anything in that right-hand list will automatically launch when you open up Horizon. So the next time I open Horizon, my checkout window and my check-in window will open up right away for me. Also very handy to do, um, especially if you're working on the circulation desk to have those open up automatically. The last tab I'm going to talk about is the General tab. And what this allows you to do is um, two different things. You can add an image to your workspace background and the workspace is this gray area um, that is taking up most of your horizon screen. And if I don't want that plain and boring 
background, I can go in and maybe add a picture of a tulip. So now every time I open up Horizon on this computer, it'll show me that pretty picture. I can also start Windows Maximized. And as you may have noticed right now with that unchecked, when I open up any of my checkout or check-in windows, they open as a smaller window. They don't fill up my, the whole size of the screen that I have to work with. Going to General, Start Windows Maximized. Now you see they do fill up my entire screen. So I do have more space to see um, what books I'm checking in, where they might be going if they're going in transit, or from the checkout window, I can get more information like where the book is from and when it might be due for the borrowers that I'm helping. So now that I've got these big windows, you can see I've also got these tabs at the bottom of the screen that lets me toggle between them. If I'm missing those buttons for whatever reason, there is this icon on my toolbar called Toggle Workbook. And you can see it pretty much looks like Horizon when it's open. The navigation bar here, and then my tabs across the bottom. So you can see I can go between my little areas, my little worksheets that I'm working with very easily when that's clicked. When I am working at a circ desk, I also do not really need to have my navigation bar on my screen because I have my checkout and check-in windows already open. So I usually click on this button here, which is toggle navigation bar. And that just gives me more room again to um, get information about the checkout or the check-in that I'm working on at the moment. If you need that back, all you got to do is click that icon again. So that's just a little icon here, toggle navigation bar. So that's just a little bit about customizing Horizon and making it a little bit more personal for you. If you have any questions about any of these things that have been covered, please feel free to contact our help desk and we would be more than happy to answer those for you. And I invite you to also stay tuned for more episodes in this series on Circulation One. Have a great day. Thank you.